Hello, it's me, it's Booker J, and welcome to Breaking Bands Virtual Festival 2020. It's the very first time we've done the virtual festival. Um, maybe it's going to be something we'll do, maybe in the winter every year, or we can get a few bands together if this works. Hey, you never know. We have 50 bands coming up for you over this weekend. We have interviews with 10 bands. We have, um, we have some magic. We have some very, very crazy stuff going on, carpool, karaoke. Uh, we have a band live from Germany in a studio doing their bit. Um, just completely blown our mind. We've put this together in a couple of weeks uh, because obviously due to coronavirus, uh, there is no Breaking Bands Festival 6 this year and virtually all of the bands will be moving over to next year, uh, which we're really, really pleased about. So just a bit of background about Breaking Bands Festival. We've been going since 2015. This would have been our sixth and we've done five sold out festivals. We've had awards. We've been runners up on awards as well, including uh, Grassroots, Best Family Festival, Best Festival for Emerging Talent. Um, being recognized across the world with different um, awards that way. And also um, award-winning stage crew, which um, the crew are very proud of, of course. Um, so if you've not been to Breaking Bands Festival before, it's in a wonderful field in um, Bromsgrove, which is about 20 miles south of Birmingham. You've got the M5, the M6, the M42. It's in a really good location, nice and easy to get to for most people around the country. It's a wonderful site. It's quite big. We have, um, we have proper brick toilets. We have showers. We have indoor toilets, outdoor toilets, port to loos Really, really well priced on food and drink, uh, £3 for a pint um, at a festival for five days. It's not something you get very often. So we're really proud of how we keep the prices down. We negotiate with the food companies and things like that. So it's not just a good price ticket. It's also really, really good value all round. And we welcome families of all ages um, from newborn, people with newborn babies to people in their 90s. Um, have visited the festival over the last five years, which is why we've become uh, what has been known as the Breaking Bands family. And a lot of a lot of festivals have their um, core family. We call ours a community. Uh, we do have quite a strong community at Breaking Bands Festival. So um, that's a little bit about us. Um, now it's a bit of background music. I forgot to put this on actually. Um, so why are we doing this? Well, we had to cancel the festival. And that is why we decided we still wanted to bring you something as best as we could. We contacted all the bands that are playing that were playing this year, bands that have played in the past. And there were so many of them that wanted to be involved. I'm going to have to turn it down now, aren't I? Um, so many of them that wanted to be involved. It just cascaded to 50 bands. Um, we'd like to thank all the bands for all their hard work in preparing for something that some have never done before. Uh, the technology between some of the bands is just incredible. Not everybody could do something as a full band. Some people have just done solo sets. Um, we have a band from Germany that have just hired a whole studio because the, the lockdown is at a different stage. So they've got together and put on a full thrash metal set, which is going to be quite fantastic to watch. Um, all the bands, all the band managers, the PR companies, the media, um, special shout out to Ryan from uh, Rockfing Productions or Promotions, I think they're called, um, for the interview last week. Big shout out to all our stage crew as well because they've been fantastic um, helping me. I've been very, very stressed the last few weeks. Stacey has been working absolutely non-stop on editing video sections and putting in little intros and outros and special effects. Big shout out also to Amy from Redwire um, over in Denmark. She's been helping us with some of the editing. Also Stig from Quiet the Thief. Uh, you'll be seeing a performance from Stig over the weekend. Um, he's been helping with some of the edits as well. And also Jack from uh, The Loved and Lost. Um, possibly played more Breaking Bands festivals than anybody that band have. Um, and he has been absolute solid. While I've been recording this message, he's still editing videos for me right now. Um, so it's been a real, again, community behind the scenes. We've had some great interviews with some of the staff as you've, you know, you've met some of the staff during the week as well. And that's all part of what we do. So that's all the thank yous. Um, thank you to you for watching. Um, hopefully this all goes brilliant. And if so, 
pat on the back if it goes terrible uh, we'll blame Guido that, that's simple um, so I've given you a bit of an idea of what's going on this weekend it's going to be on Facebook live it's also going to be on YouTube live um, and there'll be separate chats on both so you can chat to people on the one or you can chat to people on the other one um, we'll have uh, members of our team that will be monitoring both so we can keep in touch the bands are going to be keeping in touch with everybody as well during their videos um, so it's going to be quite fun and again quite community and everybody together so we appreciate if you can share as soon as the videos are up share them share them tag people get everybody watching the more people that watch the more people that will discover the new bands and the more people that discover the band the more money that might get donated or the more merch that might get purchased from the band's new fans new music that's exactly what we are all about so you will see lots and lots of links coming up to say about donations so just to tell you about the donations it's a gofundme page we set up 90 percent of all the money that goes in there will go split between every band and the other 10 percent will be going to the charity that we've supported since we started which is rakpa which is rocket against child pornography and abuse uk a fantastic charity we'll have a little word from them some point over the weekend and a video from them um but check them out as well it's uh, it's quite a, a fantastic charity what they're doing for people is brilliant so we're taking absolutely zero money out of this every penny is going to the bands um i've told you about how you can watch you can you can check the links out for the donate it's uh, bitly it's bitly at bit.ly uh, forward slash vbb fest but you'll see links all the way through during every video and you'll have until uh, middle of when back Wednesday next week to um, donate some money and we appreciate every penny that you can use you know and you could um, also don't forget to comment don't forget to share keep talking talk to everybody um, this is your family as well as ours and if you want to come and join our community search for us on Facebook for um, Breaking Bands Festival community we do have a community page there and you can come and join and meet the people who are you know the solid foundation of what Breaking Bands is about. And finally, use the hashtag the BB Fest. We're on Twitter, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, we're on Facebook. Um, put your photos up. We've got people that have told us they're going to be camping in the garden. We've got people that are putting um, projectors up in barns. We've, we've got all kinds of things going on. So get your photos up. Let's find, let's make a real big marker of this. Um, so get all your photos to us. Uh, hashtag and we'll share them on all our pages over the next few weeks and we'll get all the best ones and we'll put them up on our on our um, channels okay that takes me to an introduction of the first two bands one second it's thirsty work this I won't be doing any of the introductions over the rest of the weekend I'm going to leave that to the hostess with the mostess which of course is Guido McFister um, so every few every few bands that have been on Guido will pop up and say hello to you all and um, he will be getting drunk, obviously, because that's the Guido McFister we all know. So we're going to kick off with an absolute exclusive, which is fantastic, a band that played last year called Kane. Um, they've made a, a video during lockdown, and it's the song is called We Are What We Are, and it's a quarantine video. They've all made it from home using mobile phones and put a clever spin on it to put it all together. It's really, really good, and this will be the first time it's ever been aired anywhere ever so it, we're really really pleased that they've done something nice like that uh dan of the band is also um performing later over the weekend with his other band which is mordecai who have been on hiatus for a few years um but he's popping up um a second time over the weekend which we really appreciate too so check them out there'll be links uh etc on the video so make sure you check that out following on from that we'll have ryan webb uh, who was due to play for the first time this year on the acoustic stage. Ryan also has uh, a session backing band and uh, he's going to do some solos but with some uh, backing tracks and then he's going to finish off with uh, a brand new video from the band as well. Uh, so you'll get to see both sides, you'll get to see a little bit of acoustic and close up um, stuff with the backing tracks and then something really really cool as part of um, the rest of the band as well and make it all inclusive. That's all from me. I'll be back on Monday for the Breaking Bands quiz and revealing who's won the Battle of the Bands quiz as well. So I'll hand over to the bands and I'll see you all online. So thank you everyone for watching this short clip, well, which has become a long clip. And I'll hand over to Kane and their exclusive video, which is called 
We are what we are. Goodbye.